Hi friends, welcome to Tassi Studio and I'm Tassi and today I want to welcome you to episode 21 of um, this knitting podcast. Um, in here we are going to talk about um, the my favorite um, spring and summer tops and I will give you all the details about those tops before I decide for sure which ones I am going to make for myself this year. I hope that um, watching this episode will inspire you to also choose um, the tops and um, the um, things that you want to knit for your wardrobe this um, summer and spring and uh, um, I am super excited to be here with you. So without um, any delays, um, Today, it's a day that it's been very overcast here in uh, Portland, Oregon. It has been very beautiful in the last week or so, but today has been um, a bit different and more overcast, but it's still um, very nice and it's starting to be very warm and fun to be outside and doing things outside. So. In the end of this episode, I will try, if you want to stay along a little bit, I will try to put a um, post for you to see um, the place where I live and the beautiful view that I have from here. So at first, I want to tell you that I usually have six categories from which I usually um, knit. And I knit and crochet, of course, is both of them. But um, I usually like to knit tops more than crochet. But I do crochet some tops um, for the summer. But I won't be talking about any of the crochet tops that I hope to maybe crochet this year. Because I have not um, made a decision on them even to choose uh, my favorites yet. I usually knit sweaters, shawls and small scarves, hats, socks, household items, and toys. Those are the things that I like to sew, uh, to um, knit and crochet the most. I do not know if there's anything else other than um, those um, categories that I like to do. But today we are going to concentrate on the tops and uh, um, I will mention the projects from the other categories on a different um, episode that I might be making um, closer to the end of the spring because the other categories I usually knit more. I still knit them in the summer and uh, um, spring, but I usually put them either on a box or on a gift box to gift um, in the fall or to wear in the fall or the summer or the um, winter. So I'm going to go and dive right into the tops category. The list that I made does not have a specific, um, it's not specifically in the order of my favorites or um, in the order that I hope to knit. I am not sure which ones I'm going to knit for sure yet, but there are a few of them that I know I really want to knit this year. The number one um, on this list is the toaster tee. I absolutely love this t-shirt. It's by Rebecca Klo, the Crea Bear. And uh, this pattern was released in May of um, 2023. Um, this is a top raglan t-shirt and is knitted in a loose gauge and it's perfect to layer in the spring or to wear in the all summer long and for me is um, one of my favorites. I am for sure going to knit one of those. Um, this um, pattern comes in two different um, yarn weights. It's um, there's two different patterns, one for fingering weight and one for the DK weight yarn. And the DK pattern suggests 
a size 8 or 5 millimeter needle, a size US 8, and uh, for the main body. And uh, it's made, um, the designer, Rebecca, made it with 100% cotton, but um, she s says that it can be done uh, for with any yarn that meets the gauge. Uh, the fingering weight of this pattern um, suggests a size four or a three and a half millimeter um, for the main body. And uh, um, it was also made with 100% cotton. And again, it can be made with any yarn that would meet the gauge. The pattern comes in a wide range of uh, sizes and ranging from size one to size 10. And it is two feet, um, a finished bust circumference uh, of um, 80 to 169.5 centimeters or 31.5 to 66.75 inches. And uh, this pattern costs um, seven British pounds, which is approximately $9.03. And note that um, I am not giving an exact amount because I think it depends on um, the US, um, the, ex the money exchange. Um, but also this pattern is available in English for you. The second one that this one, I also think that I will be needing this spring and summer for sure, is the Color Tip T by Emily Curtis from the Gently um, cha Chaotic Knits. And this pattern was released in May of 2023 and it's been on my list to knit since last year. So I am really hoping that this year I get it to I get to make it. This is a fingering weight yarn and is constructed top down. Um, and uh, um, I wanted to say that the toaster tee is also top down. I forgot to say that. Um, and it's a classic set in sleeves and it has for me i thought it has the most fun colorful details it has this um cute details on um, the neckline on the sleeves and at the bottom and it has a really cute um, pocket on the side i really think it's a lovely and charming um pattern and i really would like to make one of those the pattern suggests uh, sizes US 3 or 3.5 three millimeter needles for the main body. It was made by the designer using um, Pro Soho linen quill, but it can be done also with any yarn to meet the gauge. The pattern comes on a wide range of sizes from size 1 to 9 to fit uh, finished circumference, bust circumference from 80 to 160 centimeters or um, 32 to 64 inches. This pattern costs $8 and it's also available in English. One of my very favorite. I think it's so cute and charming and you can do a lot of a huge variety of things that you can change doing stripes or other different things if you want to the number three is a pattern that i also have had i actually bought the pattern um, as i did for the other two that i just mentioned and that's the sea glass um, tea by wool and pine this pattern was released in May of 2021. It's a fingering weight um, tee, which is also great for um, a stash buster. It's perfect for using all of your fingering scraps because 
Each row uses two different colors of yarn and you can change as many times as you want. It has the um, designer always also says that you have no the way she shows you how to um, change the colors there is no ends to weave when you finish your um, garment and she has great videos not only um, showing you how to do some of the techniques that she's um, showing but also um, includes the video tutorial um, for um, how you could create your own sea glass tea choosing your sizing and the colors and the yarn that you use it's a fabulous pattern and I am really I even separated a lot of the um, leftover yarns that I had so I could make my own uh, the pattern suggests a US 4 or size three and a half millimeters needle for the main body and um, it can be made from a variety of yarns that meets the gauge or um, that you and she suggests it to be um, a stash buster so the pattern is available in English in German and Spanish and it costs um, eight dollars and seventy five dollars and seventy five cents the number four on my list is the um, Anchor Summer Tea by Petit Knit. This pattern was um, released in June of 2017 and it's still um, a pattern that a lot of people love. Um, this is a DK weight yarn tea and it's also knitted top down. Um, it's a round yoke tea followed by a classic raglan increases on the round. Um, the pattern suggests a size 6 US 6 needle and which is a 4 millimeter needle and uh, the designer made hers with um, sandness garn linen but it can also be adjusted as all of the patterns that I'm going to say here of course you can adjust to a different yarn um, using um, if, it meets the, if it meets the gauge. The pa pattern comes in also a wide range of sizes from extra small to five extra large and uh, um, to fit a finished bust circumference of um, 80 to 150 centimeters or 31.5 to 59 inches. This pattern costs 45 Danish crowns, which is approximately $6.74, and it's available in English and 12 other languages, like most of um, Petit Knit um, patterns. She um, the next one on my list is the Duo Top by the Knit Pro Girl, absolutely gorgeous. It was released in June of um, 2022. This is a DK weight yarn tee, which is knit top down also. Most of the garments that I choose are knitted um, top down because that's what I prefer to do. I know that there is a lot of people that also, and there are a huge variety of beautiful patterns that are needed um, bottom up, but uh, it's not really my preference because I do really like to, to try um, when I'm making a sweater or a top to see if it's fitting me and it's easier this way, at least for myself. I really hope to knit a bottom up sweater this year, but I am not, I have not yet um, gotten the courage to do it yet. <laughs> so this next one, the number five on my list is the dual top 
by the Knit Pearl Girl, and as I said, it was released in June of 2022. This is a DK weight yarn tee, knitted top down. It's worked on the round, and it uses raglan increases. Um, it features a really, really cute um, keyhole detail on the back of the neck, and it has a curved split hem, and the sleeves and body are finished with a sewn uh, with sewn hems. Um, the pattern suggests a US six or four millimeter needles. Um, and it was made with um, Sandness Garn Duo by the designer. And again, it can, you can use any yarn that fits the gauge. The pattern comes also in a wide range of sizes and it goes from size A to J to fit um, a finished bust circumference of 80 to 145 um, centimeters which is 31.5 to 59 inches. The pattern costs um, six um, British pounds, and uh, which is $7.46 US dollars, and uh, it's available in English. Number six on my list is the short sleeves ranunculus. Um, I, as I mentioned here before, I have needed a winter ranunculus and as a lot of people, 21,000 other knitters, I loved mine. And now I really want to knit uh, a um, ranunculus with the short sleeves with a summer yarn. The Ranunculus was released in 2017 and uh, this pattern can be knitted in any weight yarn. It's um, difficult to understand when I first um, got the pattern I could not understand how it could be knitted in any weight yarn and with the same size of needle for any size but it does work. If you follow the pattern, I promise that it work. And I think that most of you already know because most of you probably already needed one. So it is um, a long sleeve sweater, but also provided in short sleeves. It's a top down round yoke pullover with lace and texture stitches on um, the yoke. You can choose from a wider neckline or a smaller neckline and as I said you can choose short sleeves or long sleeves. The pattern suggests this, oh and I forgot to say that the ranunculus is by Midori Heroes. Um, the pattern suggests is a size 10 needle, US 10 needle, which is 6 millimeter for all sizes and the sample uh, the samples shown on the pattern were made with BC Garn Tusa Tweed with Lamana Piura and Hansa Farm Kid Mohair Silk. And again, a lot of people have made this pattern with several different yarns and it always turns beautiful and gorgeous. It comes in a, a wide variety of sizes, which um, are from size 1 to 11, and to fit uh, bus circumferences from, it says 117 to 180 centimeters, which would be 46 to 70.75 70 inches. So it does have a lot of ease on this um, sweater. The pattern costs $5.50 um, euros, and which is $6.41 US um, dollars. 
and it's available in English, French, Japanese, and Spanish. Um, the next one on my list this year is the Tide Loop Tea by Other Loops. I saw this uh, this tea last year, I think it was towards the end of the summer, and I absolutely fell in love with this pattern. Look at this tea. It's just gorgeous. And it was released in April of 2023. This is a lace and sport weight yarn held together to make um, sport weight tea and is knitted um, top down and worked on the round using raglan increases. Um, there has a pattern on it that suggests the tide poles and for me it reminds me of uh, um, the beach in Brazil so I think that's why it made me feel it made it, it just feels so special to me and I really want um, to make one of them even if I don't get to make one this year um, it's still on my list and it's something that I really would like to make. Um, the pattern suggests is a US 6 needle, which is a 4 millimeter needle and was made in Sandness Garn Duo Yarn. It comes on a wide variety of sizes to fit a bust circumference of uh, um, 80 to 145 centimeters which is 31.5 to 59 inches this last three patterns that i'm going to mention they are sleeveless and consequently i will most likely if i can get to make one of them um, it will be towards the summer or maybe end of summer because i also like to make the sleeveless um, uh, tops towards the end of the summer because I wear them just like my um, mini mock tank. I wore mine in the fall um, last year for a long time because I can wear with a flannel or with another shirt on top and um, it was a lot of fun to make it towards the end of the fall. So number eight on my list is the Montpellier top by N. Fiscum Sunday. I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, from uh, November Knits. Um, the pattern does not say when it was released, but I think that it's a pretty new pattern because um, I think it was not released a long ago. I did, there was no reference to when it was released. It's a worsted weight top that it's worked from the top down with a beautiful ribbed side detail. It's just really, really gorgeous. And it has ribbed neckline and bottom hem. The pattern comes with a video to help with some of these instructions. Um, it suggests a US 9 um, 5.5 millimeter um, needles and US 8 5 millimeter needles, which probably will make a very quick knit. And it comes also in a wide range of sizes from size one to eight to fit um, a finished bust circumference of uh, um, 92 to 147 centimeters. The pattern costs 90 uh, Danish crowns, which is approximately $12.94 US dollars. And it's available in English and six other languages. The number nine on my list is one that it's been on my list since last year that I also love it 
and I absolutely love this designer and that is the Trunk Island Tank by Beth McDonald Stone. Um, this pattern was released in July of 2020 and I absolutely love it and love the charming um, ties that you can tie up on top. It's a very, very cute um, top. It's done in a sport weight yarn and um, the designer, um, she held two light fingering yarns together and um, the, I believe that this one is needed top down. It's supposed to be needed as, um, to be worn as a flown and loosely fitted um, top and I love that also. The pattern suggests a US size um, needle 4.5 millimeter needles and it comes on sizes 1 to 6 uh, to fit a bust circumference of 91.5 centimeters to 152 centimeters which is 36 to 60 inches and, but it's supposed to be um, a loosely fitted top. The pattern costs six US dollars and is available in English also. And the very last one is the Soho Top by Kaidri. This top was released in 2022 and Kaidri is also one of my favorite designers. She, I have made um, the Suri shirt and I'm for sure will make, probably make another one of it. I really enjoyed making it. I'm right now making the Dartmoor um, sweater also from her. I really love her patterns but and this one is not an exception so it had to be on my list also. Um, the Soho top is a worsted weight um, yarn, uses worsted weight yarn and is constructed, <coughs> excuse me, top down, <coughs> excuse me, and the designer held two fingering weight yarns to make it a worsted weight garment. The pattern suggests a US, US um, four or three and a half millimeter needle <coughs> and a US six four millimeter needles. The pattern comes in a <coughs> sizes one to 10. <coughs> I, excuse me. It comes on um, sizes 1 to 10 and to fit a um, bust circumference of 76 to 136 centimeters which is 30 to 53 and a half inches. The pattern costs six <coughs> excuse me dollars and fifty cents on US dollars and is available in English and five other languages. So I think that's it for me for the tops. These are not by any means all of my favorites. There's, there are so many patterns out there and uh, the great designers that are in our community make such beautiful patterns that it's almost impossible to choose what you're going to knit. These are just some of my suggestions, some of the ideas of what I think that I will um, be doing this summer and I'm actually curious about what is your favorite and what are um, the patterns that you think you are going to be needing this spring and this summer. Um, I try, as I said before, I don't really have a capsule uh, wardrobe, but I try to make my wardrobe in a way that it 
matches and that things match with each other and complement each other so I can um, have a variety of things that I can exchange and that I don't have too many of them. So if you have any suggestions for me and if you would like to suggest any other patterns that I might be able to make this summer, um, please leave me a comment and please let me know here. I would love to um, know any other suggestions or what you are going to be needing this spring and summer. I have, I am using my, um, I forgot to say what I'm using today, what I'm wearing today. And uh, today I'm wearing my Sophie scarf. And I have mentioned this before that I love them. And I was getting ready to knit my next one. However, I just saw that Casey from Young Folk Knits, she is going to release a pattern. And I think it's called the Patty line the party line um, scarf and uh, I am so excited to knit that because it looks so cute and it's a small scarf like this ones that I really like um, to wear in the spring and sometimes even in the summer so I, I um, decided to wait a little bit and not knit another Sophie scarf I already have many of them and I would love to um, support her and also um, knit the new pattern that she is going to be releasing really soon so if you enjoyed this episode if you enjoyed listening to the suggestions that I had and if you um, like this episode I hope that it was helpful for you and I hope that you will um, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future episodes and uh, um, that you will be coming back to see me again. Um, until next time, keep knitting, crocheting, crafting or making what makes you happy. Thank you for being here today. And don't forget to watch the video that I'm going to show you, my view and around um, the place that I live. See you soon. Ciao.